next up, and last for chapter 3, the star. Signifying hope, the star stands against the devil, who destroys faith in the future. The star is not a card of solutions or answers, but rather of purpose and positive energy. Without hope, all is lost, but hope without action is meaningless. The star can light the way to a higher plane. Where are you now? Back at my apartment. When is this? I think I've just gotten back from the boat. After getting the message from my parents. It was cold. I needed a coat. And I'm remembering something about a box and a star. So we have box, star, and coat. Yeah, we'll begin with box. Most of the items on this little table. We have an ice box, a fuse box, a pill box, a check box, and a soap box. All right there together. That's pretty handy. Well, there's also box cars and a box kite. And let's see. Ah, oh, yes. A light box. Poor Daniel. I've put him through so much. And he still wants to marry me. Are you going to open it? Daniel. Your dad gave me permission. They were all for it, actually. Come on, open it. Daniel, it's not that I don't love you. There's someone else. No, it? it's not that. Well, what is it then, Jess? You're so different lately. What's I changed? No, but you're right. Something has definitely changed. I wish I knew what. So she rejected his marriage proposal, too. I don't know how significant that really is. Anyway, star. Well, light's already found for us. But we have a star board. Kind of boot. There are television and movie stars. There are dwarf stars. We can get a four star or a five star review. The package. I remember now, right after I talked to Mrs. Tremblay, my landlady. I don't know how this package got into my apartment. What's in the package? I'm not sure what it is. Some kind of box. Hmm. And opening that box will be our puzzle for the end of chapter, as a matter of fact. But now, we need coat. We need two more things for coat. So first, there's a coat tree, and a coat rack. This memory. Merriman's in my apartment. He's come to get me. He's nervous, on edge. I've never seen him like this. Look, just grab your coat. We need to go. Now! Just tell me what's going on! It's your father. Ben? No, the other one. What about him? Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Daniel! It's okay, this is my friend. Who are you? This is the private investigator I hired to help me find my parents. Merriman, meet Daniel. Come on, Jess. We gotta go. She doesn't have to go anywhere if she doesn't want to. You're not gonna be safe here. Devin Tellus escaped from the asylum three days ago. Oh my god. You think he's the one who... If he didn't, it's one hell of a coincidence. I'm going with you. Sorry, pal. This is way out of your It's league. okay, Daniel. Just go. I'll call you soon, I promise. That's... Once again... Disconcerting. It's my favorite word for this place. The astrological star chart wasn't the only thing delivered to Jess's apartment while she was gone. There was also the mysterious package containing a box with a star pattern on top. Unlike the star chart, which came from Lila, Jess has no idea who left this for her. Maybe the answer is inside. This was in the package that mysteriously appeared in my apartment. A black star first, then comes the silver. 
I guess that must be a clue to how the box unlocks. Indeed it is. Instructions? To open the box, layer the eight stars into the circle in a sequence that creates an all-black star and then an all-silver star. To move a star, click the center section and drag it. And yeah, we're going to have to layer these eight stars on top of each other so that about so that on the fourth star, we have an all-black star, and then after we layer the next four stars on top of that, we have an all-silver star. And the way you do that, there's only one solution. Go here, then we put this one on top, then number three, then number four, and there's our all-black star, and number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. The Haven. I guess, I guess that's, that's where this box and necklace came from. Hmm. So we have, well, she has a new area she might start remembering in the next chapter, huh? Can you tell me more about this item, the one that came in the package? It was some kind of amulet. Do you have it with you now? I don't. I guess I do. I think we need to find out what it is and who sent it. That and where Devin Tellis is. Yes, Devin Tellis, your real father. You think he's coming after you? Why else would he escape from the asylum the day after I come looking for him? It can't be a coincidence. Yeah, I think he's coming after me. Literally, the chariot represents Merriman's car. Figuratively, it's Merriman's investigation into the disappearance of Jess's parents. Merriman is digging up Jess's past and leading her closer and closer to answers, whether she's ready for them or not. The star represents the star box, the amulet it contained, and the secrets awaiting Jess at the Haven. The Hanged Man seems to represent Devin Tellis, Jess's birth father, who has been imprisoned in the asylum for the past 30 years. So, that ends Chapter 3. And, unfortunately, we didn't seem to get too many answers, but a lot more questions. Is Devin Tellis really after her? And what's how is Adrian Crawford wrapped up in all this beyond apparently taking Celeste for his own after Devin was imprisoned. And what happened to the twin? Did it really go with them? Who knows? But we'll find the answers to all these and more some point in time in the future. So anyway, take care everyone. See you next time.